Hey guys, welcome to part three of my the the that last video. But this time, I'm gonna do it as a as a try not to rage video. Type of challenge thing too. But Bird, I realized that the secret oh, to great tasting frozen yes, foods. When Bird's Eye returned to the United States in 1917, he began experimenting with ways to freeze foods. By 1924, he had created a new freezing process. First, he packed food into small cardboard boxes. Then he placed each box between two metal plates. Next, he chilled the plates to super cold temperatures. Oh, wait, the cold actually, metal froze the food in no time. Uh, 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 guys, um, so... Tell me in the comments if last video I used this, um, this, you know, audio file that goes like, of course, I this. realized that the secret to great tasting frozen foods was to freeze the food quickly. Because I'm going to be replaying it again line, just in Bird's case. Birdseye wondered if he could create a fast freezing method. He wouldn't freeze just fish, but meat, vegetables, and fruit too. If his method worked, he could create all kinds of frozen food products. And now? When Bird's Eye returned to the United States in 1917, he began experimenting with ways to freeze foods. By 1924, he had created a new freezing process. First, he packed food into small cardboard boxes. Then he placed each box between two metal plates. Next, he chilled the plates to super cold temperatures. The cold metal froze the food in no time, and so it was ready for sale. Do you, hey guys, do you know that funny song that goes like... Well, you, you know what I mean, basically, right? Let me know in the comments, too. Anyways... What is the main idea of the highlighted paragraph? Hmm. There are many details in this paragraph. Finally! This main idea. Finally! Just without a hint! Finally! Dude, just... What is the meaning of the word plate as it is used in this paragraph? This is a perfectly good definition for the word plate, but it's not the meaning that makes sense here. I'm really about to rage, but I'm not going to do it. This is the sort of object you can imagine seeing in a machine used to freeze boxes of food. Let's do this. Oh, and you know how people are like, uh, whenever they do like a thumbs up, they do like a curl? Oh, I don't do that because I watched a TikTok and look loaded from doing this and like the weird stuff coming from the hand, like the red stuff, which was actually supposed to be a fake blood. Well, after I saw that, you know, I already started to be like this instead. I mean, is that relatable to you guys? Let me know in the comments below too, by the way. Anyways. The frozen food Birdseye produced with this method was unlike any that had come before. Frozen peas, for instance, stayed sweet, green, and firm when cooked. They didn't taste much different from fresh peas brought out of farm stand. But before he could begin selling his new product, Birdseye had a few problems to solve. He needed a way to get his frozen products to food stores in warm weather. He also needed to make sure the stores could store frozen foods. Alright, that's cool. In the 1920s, most food stores did not have freezers. So Bird's Eye helped start a company that made freezers for them. He also rented refrigerated boxcars to transport his frozen food by train. Finally, in 1930, stores began selling bird's-eye frozen foods. 
shoppers could choose from over 27 different items. These included frozen steak, lamb chops, spinach, peas, and berries. Look at the chart. Then select the question mark and choose the inference that the details and background knowledge best support. If you're shipping products by train right, and across the country, then you can sell things nationwide. That, that does not count for the rage thing, okay? Let's go. Finally. Hmm. Rereading helps me see that Bird's Eye really did change the way Americans live. I mean, suddenly, everyone's eating off of trays in front of their TVs. Yeah, and that was just the beginning. Remember our big question? Why was Clarence Bird's Eye's invention so important? It changed farming and fishing, too. And not just in the United States, but worldwide. Okay, guys, um... I'm going to leave it here because it already has been six minutes in this video already, like, last time, like, that whole thing. Well, now I'm going to have to be going, guys. Okay, bye!